Hey everybody, it's AJ. I'm here to talk about something called EDC, which is everyday carry. Some of my family members have been asking me about it and it's something that I unknowingly have been practicing uh, for years, but I guess we all have been. Basically, it's what do you carry on your person every day to meet the challenges and needs of the day? A lot of the things that we carry um, are just natural stuff that we throw into our pockets. Other stuff is stuff that we think about ahead of time that, hmm, I'm going to be doing this today. I might need blah. Or it could be just, I want it just in case. So basically, I'm going to talk about urban everyday carry and on a personal level, not for vehicles or families or bug out bags, that kind of thing. It's not survivalist stuff. It's not for uh, floods, fires, riots, that kind of thing. It's just to meet those daily needs. And in case you get caught high and dry, flat tire, run out of gas, um, you're stuck someplace longer than you thought you'd be there for. So anyway, with that said, let's get to it. This is my EDC bag that I've been moving from car to car and to backpack. Uh, it's got a few things in it that I have found helpful at times and some things I have yet to really put a test to, but you never know. Starting with the bag itself, uh, it's a nice sturdy nylon, a ripstop nylon with uh, an S beaner. Uh, it's like a carabiner, but it's an S shape. 75 pound load you can put on these things. If you want to get a carabiner that is stronger, you have to get them uh, rated for climbing. Make sure you look at that. Otherwise, you get those decorative ones that come on water bottles or given away when you do a walk run or something like that. You can't put a lot of load in those things. Okay, so don't trust them that much. But if you want to um, hang a really heavy backpack on a chain link fence, you want to attach two lines together, you can't part because uh, it, they'll uh, lose what they're holding on to, you can use something like this. Um, so let's open this thing up, take a look. It's kind of stuffed, so I'll be careful here. And I'm going to show you before I pull it all apart. That's basically a little preview. All right, so these days, uh, if you're at work, other places you can't always find utensils uh, for hygienic reasons. So I carry a little spoon. It helps with stirring coffee, uh, other drinks, uh, eating something that if you don't have any uh, utensils for it. Next is a pen. You should always have a pen on you. That's what I think. It, you always find yourself having to make a note or write something down. I know you have your cell phone. That's useful. But if your phone charge is low and you need to write something down or write a note to somebody you've got this this is a fisher space pen it's the click version i love it it writes very smoothly writes great writes in all directions because it's pressurized and waterproof uh, and is very useful and since i pulled out the pen let's pull out the notepad it's really a great idea to always have a notepad whether you want to write notes um, or give somebody a piece of paper or something or fire starting whatever this is water resistant paper so I have a waterproof pen, water resistant paper. You get caught in a situation where it's wet or it's drizzling or raining. Uh, you shouldn't have to worry too much about being able to take effective notes without ruining it. Besides, it can make for a good uh, scorecard for, yep, I did it. I threw them in there. I've got dice. You can't see them. I don't want, Whoa. I've got some small dice there in case you want to play Farkle. If you don't know what Farkle is, look it up. It's a great game. Next, we have a Sharpie. Sharpies will write on almost anything, and they're awesome for when you really need to label something boldly uh, to be read and have it remain permanent. Everything from your lunch to a water bottle and, and on. Then we've got, had this since I was a Boy Scout, this is a knife sharpener. Since you should always be carrying a knife with you, uh, and you have a multi-tool which has a knife blade, Keep the blades honed, keep them sharp, and they'll work for you. Next is a cable for my phone. I can charge from a computer, a laptop, a wall socket that has a USB connection port. Works great. And uh, transfer data if you have to, too, come to think of it. And if you can't find a USB port, take one with you. This one's kind of an older technology. They've got newer ones now. They have ones like this size that have multiple ports. You can check the level on it, see how it's doing. Uh, you can run off of that. It's great. Then, of course, a flashlight. Always have a flashlight. 
Uh, very handy. You get stuck someplace, your car doesn't start at night, you need to take a look under the hood, you got a flashlight. Then, a multi-tool. There are a lot of multi-tools out there, just like there are a lot of lives, uh, knives, a lot of flashlights, personal choice, what do you want to use them for, how rugged they are, uh, how much you want to spend. I really enjoy this one. This is the Wave by Leatherman. You can access blades from the outside without having to open it up, which I think is great. I don't want to have to open it every time just to access the tools, but the ones you would use most often are on the outside. Next in here is, and I know it's a bit of a gimmick, you're going to see a couple of these today, is one of these credit card sized uh, survival tools. Oh man, it's stuck in its little pouch. Um, it's got a couple of different things on it, like a cutting blade. You can turn uh, some, uh, some nuts with this. Open up a bottle, open a can opener, a saw. Haven't tried that one. Uh, this is supposed to be something about directional for the sun. I don't know. And then we have last couple of things in here. I've got a couple of band-aids. I don't know about you, but once a week or so, I seem to uh, cut myself on something. And then uh, three by five uh, index cards uh, for taking notes. Or if somebody needs to borrow a piece of paper, just give it away. All right, so that's my pouch. We'll move on to keys. Also on an S beaner, so it clips to my belt loop, has a bottle opener. Uh, I believe this one is about 75 pounds for its weight as well. Um, I have them separated by car as well as a small one for my tools. This little pry bar has come in pretty handy actually. It's smaller than I thought it was going to be when I bought it, but it's actually come in useful at work uh, for bending and, and cajoling a couple of things like um, uh, bolts and bent metal corners so that things join together better. Uh, I've got a couple of screwdrivers there, flathead and Phillips, and then this guy in the middle, I know that's a bottle opener. The rest of it, I guess, little screwdrivers and such. I just think it kind of looks neat. I'll find use for it. Then in my pocket, oh, 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 I forgot in my pouch was a straw. You probably saw that when I previewed it. Uh, you can't get good straws most of the time anymore because of those paper things they're handing out. They are just terrible. So if you carry something like this, stainless steel, silicone, much easier to chomp on than bamboo, plastic, or stainless steel. Um, I'm thinking about getting a collapsible or foldable one. They're readily available. All kinds of places are coming out with them. Um, this goes in my pocket. It is a bullet Fisher Price, Fisher Price, Fisher Space Pen. I knew I was going to say Fisher Price during this thing. Uh, also, um, pressurized to write in any direction and waterproof. It feels good writing if you're into how, uh, if you're a snob about that kind of thing. Uh, I kind of am, so I like that. Uh, small flashlight from my pocket. Can't even tell it's there. Uh, these got, these things are small and my pockets are loose and it's easy to carry, carry them every day, so I'm used to them. A uh, little Altoids tin because I go to work at ODARK 30 in the morning. By the time it's breakfast time, got my vitamins and my uh, other supplements and stuff, you know, glucosamine, uh, whatever, ibuprofen, that kind of thing, carried in there. Uh, then of course, gotta keep up appearances, beard brush or beard comb. Uh, this is a nice one too. I really like this one. And in the same vein, beard balm. Got to keep things looking good. Uh, then handkerchief. Use it to clean off your hands, wipe your brow when you're sweaty, clean a surface that you need cleaned. Um, you can also do makeshift masks out of them in case you have a lot of sawdust in the air, ash, uh, pollen, whatever, get it wet a little bit to kind of help to filter a little bit. I'm not going to pretend this stops viruses or any of that other stuff, but if it makes you feel better or other people feel better and it cuts down on some of the crap you have to breathe on certain job sites or environments, there it is. Take it home, wash it, replace it. I've got a stack of them. And then my wallet. I went minimalist. I used to have that traditional sized wallet, too thick, didn't like it, went to this one, it's in the front pocket. It's got a money clip for when I have cash, which is never, uh, and it expands to carry your cards. So what's inside? 
well, the usual credit cards, debit cards, your insurance cards, which are health and vehicle, of course, any um, reloadable cards you want for coffee shops or stores. And of course we have, I'm a sucker for these things. Yeah, I like toys. This is like a toy. Uh, and utensils. I have to admit, I've actually used these. I use these at work. Somebody had uh, some stuff to share one day and there wasn't a uh, fork to be found. I found a fork. It worked. You know, it's kind of like an hors d'oeuvre kind of fork or something like that. Just poke it, boom, done. Uh, and this nice little nasty looking uh, knife. Put that on the end of something, make a spear. I don't know. I don't think it's going to come to that at work. Uh, and then, of course, you should always carry a flashlight in your car, a hoodie, a rain jacket of some kind, some windbreaker or something in case you get stuck someplace longer than you thought. It gets cold. It gets rainy. Um, you know, car breaks down. You need to be able to see how to fix it. Use a flashlight. And last but not least, water. I'm only showing you the plastic because it has water in it. This one doesn't, but you should carry a replaceable, uh, excuse me, uh, refillable water bottle. Uh, just cut down on the garbage crap. If you have to carry this, so be it. It happens. If somebody hands you one, use it, of course. Uh, but, you know, having a refillable one, it's nice. They're sturdy. That They're not going to crush so easily. You can always, that one's mine because it has your name on it or nobody else has a bottle like it, that kind of thing. So basically, that's my EDC. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you have anything you would add to that list? Would you get rid of anything because it doesn't work for you? Um, have you found yourself carrying something that you're suddenly going, oh, geez, I never thought I'd use that. And there it is. Uh, thank you for viewing. I appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, send these videos to people you like. See if they uh, find it interesting. I'd like to see what they think too. Anyway, until next time, I'll see you soon.